Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. Today I am here with my Brayden and Gigi. Um, and I am going to talk about cuddle babies versus full bodies. And then um, next I will do different combinations just for people that may be new into the doll hobby and just kind of want to see, um, you know, I remember when I first came in the doll ho hobby, I don't know if you guys uh, were like this. Um, there was always like terms like OOTD and Oaks and um, th there was uh, LE <laughs> um, for limited editions, SOLE, sold out limited editions. Um, there was um, just simple terms, WIP, work in progress. Uh, what are some of the other ones? Anyway, guys, if you're new to this channel and you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you want to join my paid channel membership, the link is in the description bar. Also, that you'll see a join now or you could go to my About Me tab. It is $4.99. You do have to be at least 18 to join. Okay. So, um... Both of these babies were painted at two different times. Um, you can call them whatever you want. You can say, you know, they're both whatever. You can say they're biracial. You can say they're Caucasian. You can say whatever you want to say of what they are because they really don't have a DNA. But, um, and the funny thing about it is when I start painting, in most cases, I don't really have... In most cases, I don't really have a specific thing in mind. When I first start, it's after I lay down all the undertones and then I start deciding which way the direction the baby's going to go or hope. But anyway, um, so full body. She's a full body. She does have armatures in her arms. All right. So... Oh, this was not a good idea why she has on a jumper. I mean, it's, yeah. Yeah, I don't really want to address her. Okay, so... Gee whiz, I really didn't want to undress her. So, a cuddle baby... Um, This is a cuddle baby with a hands and feet. And really what I should have been doing is cuddle baby versus a partial. Because we already know the full body has full... Um limbs and they have she has full limbs <laughs> look at it little <laughs> and she has a tummy like her whole tummy everything she has she's anatomically correct um so we already know that about full bodies it's no big deal um a full body you can put in just a diaper Full body, you can, you know, they can wear the, the summer clothes with the little um, spaghetti straps. They can, you know, sometimes cuddles don't have feet, so you can have their hands and feet out. She can still, you know, she could turn from side, her head turn from side to side. Um, so really... And she can pose, but she's going to be a little more limited into her poses. And then the amount, the limit of the posing with full bodies is also going to have to do with softness again. Um, if they have armatures, if they don't have armatures, she can go into, oh, don't fall off. She can go into that like squatty pose, but it takes a little bit of work. Oh, now she's head going down and thing um so my my gg probably isn't as soft as some of the latest ones that's been poured but she's soft um because I, I think that silicone studios have been pouring a little bit softer than what they originally started out and i've had gg for probably two years so has it been two years? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably been almost two years. So I'm going to put her over here. 
and we've done some posing with the see he has no no restrictions um as you guys can see all of this is cloth except for his hands and his feet and his head so the posing is endless with them um, you get to control the weight. If you don't like your baby super heavy, you don't have to weight them super heavy. If you like your baby super heavy, you can weight them super heavy. Um, and if, and I am going to get him, I'm, I haven't taken him back off of his body again because as you can see, he's bald. So he's going to have to get rooted. When I take his head off for rooting, when I get ready to put him back on, I'm going to get his weight exactly like I want it. Because I had it really nice, even nicer than how it is now. It's okay now, but I had it to where when I picked him up, it was like such a good feel. He was the perfect heaviness. So, you can do that with him. Um, the good, the good, Another good thing about the cuddles is... You don't have to worry about dye transfer on their clothes. Now, a lot of people will tell you that silicone won't do dye transfer, but I found that to be not true. Um, it can still get stained because um, people will tell you only silicone stick to silicone. That's what I was told. Um, but I had a baby that the red dye transferred on his color. Luckily, I caught it right then and I wiped it down with alcohol and it came right off. But now with a reborn, you can't do that. <laughs> you, you're going to use an alcohol. In most cases, you're going to take off paint. Um, so, and even with silicone, sometimes if it's not cured properly, um, you're going to take off your paint by using alcohol. That's why when people say, if you got a drinking wedding, you put alcohol, you could put alcohol in the bottle to, to uh, make sure everything is out and to cleans out cleanse out the tube well if that baby paint isn't properly cured or depending on what type of paints they use and such that whatever alcohol hit that baby bottom could possibly take off the paint so um but because I painted him myself I know what I painted the other baby the silicone baby that I was that happened I knew that I could use alcohol because I used alcohol throughout my process um but, um, that's one thing. Another cool thing that I have done with my cuddles is I have put, in the, put them on a heating pad. And I put them on a heating pad and they stay so, they get so warm. Because you, you got to think you're not really putting the silicone on the heating pad. You're only putting the cloth on the heating pad. I did have a friend that used to put her silicone full body baby on heating pads. There were a couple people doing it. I don't suggest that because I don't really know long term how that works. Now she did it for a while. She never had any problems, any issues. Um, when that baby was passed on to other people, they never had any issues. But for me, I just, I prefer not to put my silicone babies on heating pads. Um, silicone can... Um, actually go in the oven and be baked <laughs> um, and not you know because people can cure it that way blah 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 blah. it's like so they can stand heat that's not I'm not saying that but I just it's just not something I would do but I I will put my uh, cuddle babies on a heating pad and that feels really nice or you could take a blanket warm the blanket up and then wrap them in a warm blanket now you could do that for your uh your full bodies too in the winter warm the blanket up and then wrap them in a warm blanket um of course not scorching hot because who can hold a scorching hot blanket but just fun things that i i like to do but the most part so the the limits with the with the cuddle babies is shorts short sleeves now depending on the body and the color of the body. Like when I have my, my ones on the darker bodies and stuff like that. Sometimes I will put them on socks and a little bit of their cloth might show. Like I'll put on the long socks and a little bit of their cloth will show in the thigh area. It doesn't really stand out and it doesn't really take away 
from the baby. So the other thing, the difference is, is price. So a cuddle baby with hands and feet might cost you about, well, for me, might cost you, let's say, I don't know, anywhere from 16 to 2200 dollars. I don't know. I'm just throwing numbers out there. I don't have set prices on my babies. I I price them accordingly. And <clears throat> so anyway, so let's let's say that um <clears throat> my prototype babies probably sold for a little bit more, whatever. Um but just a cuddle by itself. Um, with, uh, just rooted and all that stuff might be, I mean, on the market, on the average, you can get them for like probably nine fifty and up, you know, um, but let me show y'all Fat Daddy as a comparison. Now you all comfortable. And see how he still looks so cute to me, even even though he has his cloth. But, you know, it, it, we are always constantly trying to make them to look the most realist as possible. You know, there's things that I like about this body um, uh, more than, you know, than my Reggie Ann bodies. But then there's things that I like about my Reggie Ann body more. So I do like how <laughs> how the legs are in the thing. Um, I ordered some other type bodies. I have not they're coming from out of the country, so I haven't got any word on them. When they come, I will do a review on those. But I need to follow up with that. That's why I don't like to order from overseas because I don't usually shop overseas because I don't like the whole shipping process. You know, waiting 20 years to get it and all that stuff. So, then you go, Lauren, am I going to get it? It's a lot. I don't know. I don't like this eye looking like this. Sorry, guys. I hate, hate to do that to y'all, but I can't stand it. It was just, it's just getting on my nerves. All right. All right, so this is a partial silicone. So, of course, you can see he has his full legs and feet. And and I'm changing him in, out of this anyway. So, we can get him out of this. Um, he has his full legs and feet, but he is also on a cloth body. Now, I feel like cloth body babies are usually more poseable than a full body still, but they're not more poseable than a um, cuddle baby. So his legs are on, let's take this off. So his legs are on the, the body and he has joints, so you can probably as posable actually depending on how much you work at it but he can i can pull his legs up it just takes a little bit of work to make it make him stay up but this is something you can't do you can't twist the full body legs up like that because they don't have joints like that um, I have seen one sculptor sculpt a baby and make them where they can do all that between the softness and the type of armatures that they had in them or not armatures. So I think one of them did not have no armatures at all and it was able to do this based off of the way they sculpted in the softness. However, I don't want a baby to stay like this. <laughs> I don't, it's not my thing. But I do like sometimes when you pose them and the little legs go up. So... I'm not touching, so he'll stay up for a little bit. It's going to probably fall down, but we'll see. But anyway, 
So you you can move them. They will. They're more floppy because the the midsection is, and that depends on too how you weight them. Because if you weight them super tight and super stuffed, super full, you limit the movement in the core. Um, he's such a big baby that I didn't need to put like a bunch of glass beads in his belly area for him to still feel weighted. Okay, let me get over here because I can't, I can't see what you guys can see and I don't think you guys can see his legs tucking. So, all right. So his legs are tucked. <laughs> and again, it depends on how the sculpting is of the legs and all that jazz of how natural I look and how it goes. So let me see if I take y'all off the tripod so we can see. So you can like bend his little legs up a little bit right um but again it's all about the sculpting all about the way it's weighted and i can turn his head side to side i can move his arms up i can turn his arms down because he is again on a cloth body so the posing limits are up to the way you weighted them and up to you for the most part. All right. So I could have weighted him to where he could sit up too, but didn't do that. All right. So he's a big baby. He's going to get dressed, but not right now. Um, now, fun part. Now, I feel like I could do a lot more with my Reggie Ann bodies, but I think I could do the same with this body too. Um, Bountiful Baby has bodies. McPherson has bodies. Uh, I don't know about Irresistible. Irresistible might have cuddle bodies. So you can shop around for what body, you know, cuddle body you like. So like his little legs will stay up. As you can see how the partial was kind of falling down. Um, you can do... You know, all this, you know, one leg up, one leg down, and cross them. His head, of course, going to turn so easily either way. You can turn them over, you know, do this. All right. All right, so... And everybody have their preference on body styles that they like. But he easily goes into the baby pose. So I like this body. I like, you know, what Claire did, did with this body because um, it does give, a, you know, a more body type structure in some instances. Um, it's just when you, you gotta, you gotta make sure you get it weighted just right. Because if I feel these, see these have hardly no, they have no weight in them. And that's the part that I'm like, I could have put glass beads in here and stuff. And I might do that, but it, to me, when it, it made it too full. And then even when I put the little amount of glass beads that you could put in there so that it doesn't. And I don't want to pour them directly in there so that it doesn't um, fill it up. It didn't make that much of a difference. So I just put cotton in there. But that, when you overstuff a, a cuddle body, it restricts the movement. And so that's the part that I don't particularly like for this body. Is you got to do so much playing around with the weighting of the body. Um versus my uh reggie ann bodies so um but nevertheless 
he can do all types of poses. You know, his little legs can go straight out. Um, I think one of the things that people don't like in particular about like the different, the other cuddle bodies as far as like the Reggie Ann bodies is they don't like that the knees go in like that because our knees don't suck in. But that is where the joints come in to help it bend. I don't have a baby on a Reggie Ann body. Hold on, I'm gonna get a body. Um, with hands and feet is what I meant. Um, now this baby, just imagine it had head, a head. <laughs> Cause it don't. Now I did put, um, let me see, this one, I did put some cotton in this one, remember, to make it uh, the, the butt poof out. But the weight on this, this body alone just feels like when I pick it up, it makes me, even with no head, makes me want to pick it up like um, a real baby because it has so much weight. And when I get them, I like to, all I have to do is just adjust the weight in here if I want to and then stretch stretch it out. This is the part that people, I hear people complain about in the Reggie Ann bodies, but it doesn't bother me at all. But again, like I said, you know, different strokes for different folks. Um, but I love the, it's hard to tell without having a head on it, ain't it? Let me go get the other one. But it's the weight. You see how solid it is? Um, this one does, I did put some glass beads in his legs, but I couldn't stuff it because it, it wasn't bending the way I wanted it to bend. But it's, this is like solid and it's weight. But you can, you can get it more fuller than what I did. Um, I just be wanting my babies to be like super poseable, super flexible. And, you know, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this baby on the table. Hopefully my camera don't run out of time. Just showing y'all different bodies. Um, I, I do have a bountiful baby body, but I think I gave it to my daughter when she was pregnant with a head on it so that, um, no, that was actually a body made by another person that made that body. But I have bountiful baby bodies in there to put together. And I'm like, I ain't putting nobody together. So that ain't never happened. Let me take him off. Of this body. Another thing about the Reggie Ann bodies sometime. And I... Didn't really pay, it didn't really bother me until one of my customers um, took her arms down because she didn't like how long the arms were. Um, that's one of the things that, another thing that some people do not like. Again, for me, <laughs> I'm weird. All I care about is the baby to be able to pose. <laughs> I don't really care about that. They didn't like the way it like wailed and you know, swung and all that stuff. And I'm pretty chill with that. All right, so I'm gonna move you down here. Whoa. And then I'm gonna put you over here. Now, this one don't have hands and feet, so of course, there's that, this, but for me, like I said, I, you just have to take the time to pose the babies, which sometimes I feel like a lot of people don't take the time to even pose like their full body babies or their partial babies. And that's what, you know, sometimes that really can make or break the 
idea of these babies to me. If I see a baby, I don't care how well it's painted, but if it's like thrown into a really unnatural pose, um, I can't, I can't get it out of my head. So, and there no, um, and then let's see. And so now that I, I did that other day with putting the, the stuff in the, um, in the diaper, cause all of them have this, well, my, my bodies, I get the stitch in the butt and stuff. Um, that baby have a stitch in the butt, but it still don't give it that push like a baby would have. So, but let's do this. Mm. Little ball hit a baby. So you gotta create the arch. And all this stuff can be done by just moving the body around, moving the stuffing around. Um It's just, I don't know, I have fun with it. I just feel like they both do really well. But this baby, because the way it's out on the side, I don't know, maybe it's... We got a little bit more going on here. I think the the bum bum on this one is more realistic too. So if I remove the diapers, the way that she stitched the bum bum on hers is nicer. So it's like, you know, you love one thing and <laughs> don't like another. You can't never be happy. <laughs> can't please everybody. Like I said, I just, for me, I just like the weight, the solid. I like this material better too. Um, but... I feel like her stitch goes up further, which gives it a, you know, more look, but yeah. So there's, there's that. Let me see. So that's, you know, that's how it, how it is. All right, guys, let me go.